<laughs> this guy's toast. Tell Shadow Walk is not random. It's from last battle cry to first battle cry. Shadow Walk's been out for two months. Wait, one and a half months. Do people still think that? Your use of Zola changed nothing. It allowed me to draw one more card because I used it on Zola and Shadow Walk was my very last card, which means I would have had to wait one more turn to play it. I'm happy with my play. That was correct. This deck is never 100%. No, it's uh, 87.5 at optimal. But sometimes you bounce your Serenite back for even better odds. If you run Murmuring, you have to save Murmuring for your Grumble. Which makes it 100%, but sometimes you can't afford to save those two cards. Mm -hmm. Sport is getting a bit scary. I'm gonna have to volcano it. I guess I can volcano it next turn. I'll just play Glenda's Ooze to contest. Dead Fire Plume? Well, then I have to um, play two subpar cards in my deck, right? Mm, I'll go for high roll here. Tells if it's a 12.5% chance to fail, then it's a 77.5% chance to succeed. I'm putting it out on self build. I read too much chat. That's my fault. I just read way too much chat. I started the stream today thinking, all right, Toast, you can do this. You can do this. But the amount of people who thought Zola was better off safe for Shadow Walk was too much. And then the 77.5% guy. It is the weekend, so I kind of expected it. But I did not expect uh, the 77.5 comment. Eek, this is bad. We give up the ability to have a 100% win rate if we pull off the full combo, but 87.5 is still really good. And by cutting bad cards from your deck, your odds of beating aggro decks is significantly improved. Obviously this guy's hand is pretty nuts, but you know, we did double low row on our lightning storm. The shaman cards were unstable and doom hammer. Ah, stinky Valera. We'll probably get another tar creeper. Play it safe. Why didn't Zola and Grumble Battle Cry trigger? Uh, it happened first. 
before our two Serenite Chain Gangs. The math behind it, for those wondering, is 2 out of 4 times 1 out of 4. Which is 2 out of 16, which is 12.5% chance for that specific occurrence of having both Zola and Grumble trigger beforehand. Does it suck? Yes it does. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. This gives me armor but hurts my tower creepers. It also removes those anyway, so it's fine. Just hoping his random shaman cards aren't that good. It might be enough to kill us, but we'll see. Like lava burst, double lava burst face. Okay, this guy is going through quite a lot of uh, euros. I wonder why he's not hitting me. All right, freeze. I'll take. I'll take the freeze. Alright, I'll take that too. Do I evolve this random 7 drop? A 6 mod 7 7 is actually really good already. Oak cart will pull a Serenite Chain Gang, I guess. Of the option. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't mind a Serenite Chain Gang. But that's all he. And a Life Drinker. We could just go five soon. All right, I can hit the shard, which I don't want. I need to hit my heal. Son of a bitch. Dude got two doom hammers. Dude, just keep this full. <laughs> just keep him frozen forever. Like, I know I can do it, it's just that this... Putting him at 4 doesn't do anything. Like, don't get chat. You know I like to move as much as the next guy. Alright, chat, you know me. Yeah, you know me. Turn the O2 into an O3 dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. 
I honestly thought we were gonna lose that once we went to four freaking health by turn six. Ooh. That's another clincher. Lights out.